welcome again to our Saturday Night Church. My name is Sally Finau and I'll be one of your hosts tonight. And I'm Tiffany Charles. Welcome. Thank you for coming. And we have a special guest with us tonight. <laughs> we have Beth Kirik. Beth, come on. Come back. Oh, And no. this, this is Beth Kirik and she has agreed to be our guest tonight. Say Hi. hello, Beth. Hello, Beth. <laughs> You're saying hello to the people. Oh, hello, people. Hello, peeps. How are you? All right. Awesome. Well, thank you, Beth, You're for welcome. being a, a great guest for us tonight. So tonight we have our passage. We're continuing on with Matthew. And I believe that this is the last time that we'll be covering Matthew. Um, where this is the passage where Jesus is talking about the kingdom of heaven. And he tells uh, several different stories that pertains to the kingdom of heaven and today the uh the, the text is on the bridesmaids and being prepared being ready because the groom uh, is on his way but we don't know when so what do we have to do we always gotta be ready and beth she came ready i don't have to worry about it because i'm already married nobody's coming after me Ready, set, go. Wait a minute. Ready for what? The Lord is coming to us. We need to be ready. Just a minute. What is the date? What time is the Lord coming? That's not important. We just need to be ready. Listen, that's not the way the world works. We have to plan these things out. But it is the way of the Lord. And this set business, uh, what is that all about? We must take stock of our lives. We have to heal old wounds, reconcile relationships, forgive those that you've been harboring a grudge against, service such as working in this pumpkin patch, service to others, most of all practicing God's love as Jesus taught us. So that means that you have to forgive me, Beth. Yes, I do. Right now, my plate is full. I have all I can handle going on right now. Relationships, old wounds, angers, work for God. I, I just can't do anymore. I have, I have to see if I can fit it in my schedule. Anyway, won't God give me a little grace period? God has always given you grace, period. God has offered you blessings and given you gifts. God asks you to be ready to serve. Make a choice. Ready to serve God or to serve my schedule? Are you ready to put God first in your life? Because if you do, everything else will fall into play. I need to reconsider the choices I have made. No kidding. Choose God. Be ready to go into God's world to serve. Ready? The Lord is coming. Get your priorities straight. Put God first and everything else will fall into place. Go serve God. I can do that. Amen. 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 So today we read from Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13. The parable of the ten bridesmaids. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom! Come out to meet him! Then all of those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake before Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. 
So we all heard the passage being read and Tiffany and Beth did an awesome job in reading our passage for today. So now we get to talk about it. What does it mean? And what does it mean for us? And so we have additional guests. We have Jim and we have Sandra. Uh, they're working the pumpkin patch. And so if y'all will share, what does it mean uh, to be ready? For the bridegroom or what does the story mean to you um and the story means to me that in life in general i'm a procrastinator myself and, and i tend to i'll do it a little while I'll do it a little, i've got plenty of time yet and uh sometimes you think you got plenty of time but you don't because you don't control the clock you don't control life and uh you should have been ready when you should have been ready. You knew you had something to do. Uh, we were up here at the church up, uh, selling pumpkins one day, right? And, and uh, a person comes up here and we invite him to uh, come to church with us. Now, I normally procrastinate about stuff like that, but I, I just did. Guess what? He showed up. He came that Sunday. So the point is you gotta be ready to spread the word and love of God. Whenever you get the opportunity, you can't put it off and can't put it saying thankful. I can do it later. I can do it later. He might not even see you. Amen. Sandra, what do you think? Uh, Jim said it a lot, but uh, to me, it's, uh, I know I, I need to not wait for the next minute or I need to be ready at all time. Not, uh, you think, you know, that the kingdom of heaven may come in the next minute and I need to be ready, you know. Uh, you never know when it's going to come. You don't know when it's going to come. So you need you need to be ready for it. Uh, and also, like he said, to be ready. Just like in the southern of the Girl Scouts, you always be prepared. Thank you, Sandra. Alright, so we go here. We have uh, Beth and Tiffany. To be ready, I say that you need to have everything lined up for when the bridegroom comes. And that means have the banquet planned out, have the music, have the, um, the bouquet and the bridesmaids should be ready to catch it when you throw it back there. And um, also be sure to bring your uh, clothes that you're gonna wear after the wedding when you go get uh, in the car that you've rented uh, to go away on your honeymoon and back in the old days they used to really really dress up with, with uh, gloves, white gloves and all that sort of stuff but yeah it's a big deal so just plan ahead yes that's it and bring comfortable shoes for the dance yes <laughs> yes comfortable yes, yes. Fitting shoes so you should be prepared for any any outcome any any occasion no matter how formal or how informal, we never know where we're going to be when God calls us home, where we will be in life. Uh, if our situation will be good at the time or not good, we need to always have a cheerful heart and a constant godly outlook on life as best we can, given our circumstances, whether we're at a fancy wedding or uh, things aren't going as well in our life. So um, we're at not such a fun event as a wedding. So yes, always being prepared no matter what the situation. You know, this is kind of difficult, kind of contrary to our thoughts uh, in our culture and our society because we like to be on a schedule. Hey, it's 3.15. You are supposed to be here at three. The wedding takes place at five. If the groom is late, uh-oh, there's something wrong. He ran off with somebody else. <laughs> and left the bride at the altar, yes. right? So right. because everything with our busy world today, everything is on a schedule. And that's just the way that we are accustomed uh, to. And that's the way that we, uh, we operate in today's society, especially Thank in you. this busy world uh, in the United States. You know, in other countries, in other countries, for example, in Tonga, where I come from, uh, or Islanders, they uh, they call it island time, 
And what that means is that the events or the function takes place when the people arrive. And so while it's customary for Westerners, for example, here Americans to have a, a timely event to begin right on time for people of other culture, uh, they don't arrive according to your time. <laughs> they don't operate on a 24 hour time because everything is just so kicked back and so relaxed uh, that they don't allow the time to control uh, your life. And, and that's just the way it is in, in other cultures and other countries. But here, you know, if the groom is late, he's on a schedule, he better be here on a certain time. Uh, because if not, we're going to assume that something is wrong. So uh, pertaining to the, the uh, story that Jesus is telling about the bridesmaids uh, running out of oil and always having uh, uh, having what you need in order for you to always be prepared uh, because it, it is true in many ways you know when when the bridegroom comes or when we don't know when God will call us home what it basically comes down to is when Jesus says come on it's your turn we're not gonna say we can say wait wait Jesus I got these things here to take care of that's not gonna happen when Jesus calls your name guess what it's your turn come on home so therefore we should always live a life that is ready uh, so we're always prepared uh, as bridesmaids are are persons who are supposed to be helping serving the bride right mm -hmm. and so uh, pertaining that to the church you know the the church is christ's bride we as a church people should always be prepared should always be ready uh to to serve on what else can we do for the church and that's exactly why Beth, why Sandra, uh, why Jim are here today in the pumpkin patch. They are serving the bride. They are serving the church by working the pumpkin patch. Thank you for serving. If you're ready and you know Please it, clap your hands. hands. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, then your heart will show the show. And if you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're ready and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're ready and you know it, then your heart will surely show it. If you're ready and you know it, shout amen. Amen. God, we give you thanks for our time together this evening. We give you thanks, God, for our special guests that we have with us uh, this evening, especially uh, when they thought they were not ready, but you have already prepared us, Lord. So we give you thanks that you are always guiding our lives through every step of the way. Uh, so be with us and be with everyone who are joining us online. This we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for this evening and thank you for our many blessings that you bestow on us daily. Thank you for this time and let it be a blessing to everyone in the church family and the community of Taylor. Amen. Amen. Sandra came prepared with a pumpkin pie and some plates for her to share with all of us. Thank you for being prepared.